Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we got ourselves another IP joystick from Avicans that I wanna show you and test out, see what's inside of it, see the functionality of it, as well as they specifically saw the video with their camera that they sent me where we were having some issues with my existing joystick. This has the same frame as the other one, but it has a different firmware, and they said that this will work with this, so that's what we're gonna put it to. So let's check it out, and let's open it up, see what's inside. Alrighty, so I mean typical same box that we have here and if we open it up actually let's do this a different way Alrighty, so this is what's inside. We got the joystick again from AVCANS. We got our plug. We got our adapter here let's Cook that up And we have our RS422 um, I believe adapter I could be wrong on which one that is but that's what comes in here So let's go ahead and hook this up and if I slide this over here, you'll see that the frame is the same, but we have some different layout of the function buttons on here. So just let you know, again, uh, I, I, it seems like a lot of the products have a similar casing, but the software is different. You'll notice that in some of the PTZ cameras um, as well too. So let's go ahead and hook this up. I believe I have a network cable and everything to plug this in. And it's no different than any other joystick that we have. So here on the back, we have our power in, we have a power switch. Power screw in there. There's our, actually that's for tally. So that's the tally plug. So RS422 um, is actually ethernet, so I stand corrected. We have a RS232 connection here and IP. Now, like I said, I do not have an additional um, PoE switch. We're gonna be adding that here so we can cook up everything. But we got that plugged in. And now let me borrow a network connection here. Let's put the feet up here. And let's go ahead and switch it on. All right, so really straightforward. And I'm actually using the other joystick for right now so that y'all can see this. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on this one. So y'all can see the controls. Now, one noticeable thing that's different on here, remember I said my assumption, the issue of why the other joystick could not connect is because of the port. This one actually gives you an option of picking which port you can connect with, which is what AVCAN said was the issue with the other joystick that I was trying to use. And that's why they specifically wanted me to use their joystick to show that that works. Now, one caveat I must tell you is some of the other joysticks, the lower cost ones, this is an update that I got as well too, that some of the searching does not work when you search for um, the camera, and that's because some of the components were taken out to save in cost, all right? So in other words, the search won't work with this, but you can do an inquiry to go directly to it. So I am trying to remember what number camera it is, but while I do that, here we have six function buttons compared to the other two. Um, these can be programmed to anything, I like this because this gives me direct access to six cameras if I wanted to. The other one only let me address three because these other three are assigned. So if we went in here to our setup, let's make sure you can see. If we go to our setup menus here, so we have our DHCP. You can set that up. You have your LED light mode on. There's your assigned keys, advanced, version, reset. So our version, like I said, the app and the MCU um, I don't know what that stands for, but that's a different version than the other one. So it seems like there were some updates done to that. If we go to advanced, there's a track loop, a quick call. I don't know what that is. I think that might be a quick access to do, um, to call either the camera or functions. Well, let's just turn that on and play with it. I don't recall seeing that on the other one, actually, I'm looking at the other joystick. There is no advanced on there as well. So that's different. Track loop is there, quick call is not. So this gives you some more, um, this was a firmware update over what's going on. So um, 
Shout out to AV Cams for adding some extra functions on here. We got our theme, we got our beat, we have a PT inverse, I'm um, pan tilt, so that's the opposite. So you do, if you're doing the flight yoke up, actually means down, down actually means up, if you want to do that. And then you have your function and camera keys. So if we come in here, you see we have all of our camera buttons here. So by default, all of these are set to your camera. So you have six cameras that are quick access, and that's where these can go or you can assign some of them. So like, for example, say I like using this to where I set um, function button number six to be a function. So I will switch this to actually be a power off because these cameras are on um, POE and they stay on the entire time, but I want to do that. Um, so let's back out of here and back out one more. And now we can assign our keys. So now, as you can see, these, all of them have a function, but since we now said that this is the only one that has a function, this is the only one that's gonna leverage, which is set to power right now. All the rest of these are set to go to a call button to go to the camera. So awesome. All right, so let's back out of here. And like I said, this one will not, well, the cameras I have right now won't search, specifically the AVCAMS one won't work with search, but let's go ahead and search anyway and walk through the process of how this will work. So if we do a search, we have Visco over IP or on VIF, we'll go to Visco over IP. We should see a couple of cameras because you're going to see the ones I'm working on right now. And let me make sure I know which one that is. All right, so we have one right here i believe that's the one that's behind me but let's just go through that process so that's the search and here we go so this is the difference i was showing this allows you to set the port so if you happen to go to udp or tcp it's not hard coded which i'm assuming was the issue with the other one um which av kansas fixed in this so we can just go ahead and assign that and let's do a call i have it assigned to id number one And that is the camera here behind me. So um, let's switch out so y'all can actually see that. So that's actually this camera. So if I move this, that's what you're seeing move all around. So that's what that joystick um, is set to right now. All right, now that's one. Let's go back here to search and let's just go to on VIF, see if anything shows. This one shows a whole bunch of stuff. So this shows like my network stuff and everything. So that's not legit for that. All right, so that doesn't work for this. So now the camera that you're seeing right, well, you can't even, <laughs> the camera, this camera right here, um, you notice that does not show up under here either. So we have to actually do an inquiry to get to that one. And these are the lower cost ones that I guess it, it um, removes that interface to do like a response back when a call is sent out. So not a big deal. Um, you're just gonna do it the same way. Let's get over here so you can see it. I know the IP address to that one. So we're gonna come over here to inquire and we're gonna change this to camera number two and our IP address here is 82. I think I actually, this still saved from when I did this originally. All right, but then we can change the port and now that it's set to two, as you can see, we're now on function number two. And if I twist this joystick, that is what you're seeing, the function from here. Awesome. So now we need to set the IP address for this one, which I believe is camera, and I think I hit the power button to turn the camera off. Let's turn that back on. All right, there we go. So we got an image again. Let it zoom out. All right, so we're back in action. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> All right, so now if we go over to our camera number three, and I believe the IP address is 
83, I believe. So we'll go here to inquiry. We go to camera number three. Let me zoom in a little bit so y'all can see. And then we set our IP address here. Now you could change your protocol here on VIF. Now I really don't know what the difference is on this Visca Sony one, but let's just see what happens with it. I think it's the same thing. Then we set our IP address, we have our port. Let's do a call and see that timed out. So I think that might be the Visca Sony one. So let's go back here to our inquiry again. Let's change our protocol. Pelco P, P, let's go to Visca over IP. And we're using the UDP 1259, that's the port. Let's do a call. And now we don't have an issue. All right, so we're now connected over here. So now if I zoom out, that is this camera right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can move it. And yay, there it is, up. And if, if you need me to show you. Left and right, awesome. Now I'm really wondering what these quick calls were um, so we'll be able to see it right now. I'm gonna switch back over to this camera and I have position number one is normally my on air sign. So I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna hit number one and see what happens. Oh yay, so that's what it does, quick call. So now I can just press the number. Two is what I normally hit when the camera zooms over to me sitting at the desk. So let's do number two. Yes. Isn't it amazing what um, firmware can do <laughs> to your stuff? And then I like the fact that now, instead of it being locked to only three function buttons, you actually have six. But again, I'm gonna set that to off. So like right now, I set this one to power. So you should see that camera go off now. You'll see it tilt and turn. So now that's physically off. And let's do the same thing for this camera. That's right here beside me, that's camera number three. So you can see that we're controlling it right there. Now let's turn this one off. It doesn't look like that one does. All right, it's not responding, so it is off. So nothing is moving with it. Let's turn it back on and let's see what happens. Now it's on. That's interesting. I thought it would have moved like the other one. Let's turn it off again. And let's see, we get nothing. So it's off. So this one, I guess, it just doesn't actively show it being on and off, but now, now it's on. So anyway, so thank you, AVCans, for this. Again, this one is the AV Joy IP. I'll have a link down below if you're interested in getting one. And again, um, I'm just really thankful for the um, connection that I have with AVCans and any of the partners that I'm working with, brands that I'm working with. I mean, they have been very responsive, used a lot of their products on a bunch of installs. And we got about like nine installs that are incoming that we're going to be using um, a lot of their products for, especially um, I've been moving over to a lot of the IP joysticks anyway. And I like this one because this one is a little bit smaller and from it gives a lot more functionality. You never know. This one might relocate at my church. But anyway, um, thank you so much. Link is down below if you're interested in getting one. Let me know if you have any other questions because right now, most likely, the original one that I had, I'm probably going to bless another ministry with that because there's no point in me having two joysticks. I mean, I kind of like having one here. <laughs> so when I'm doing stuff here, I'm not running back and forth, but there's no point in me hogging all this other stuff. So I'm a, I already got a, a ministry in mind for that. But um, anyway, yeah. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video. Later.